and welcome back so today I'm going to show you how we can customize the cursor as you can see here if I inside this section here which is the green background here we have the circle pin if I go outside this section we have the color white here and the circle is more bigger and if I go to the circle outline this section here now we have the outline right if I go in here we have this simple animation all right so this is what we are going to be building I'm, I'm going to show you how we can uh, customize this cursor this is so real simple guys and yeah let's get started so here I have custom cursor folder and I'm going to drag and drop into the VS code and let's close this folder here and let's make it side by side and in here i'm going to create a file so let's say index.html here and let's say uh, style.css and also the main.js file all right so in index here i'm gonna say explanation hit enter and i'm I have basically extension which is live server so I can click right and open with live server now we have this live server here we have a uh, server right so let's back to VS code here I'm going to change the title into let's say circle cursor circle cursors and inside this body here I'm gonna say main and inside this main we have three section basically a section and I'm gonna I'm going to add class here let's say section one and the text is going to be circle pin for the first let's copy that a couple time and this is going to be circle two circle three not circle <laughs> section two and section three and this is going to be circle outline and the last thing is should be animation animation Alright, so inside this main, I'm going to create a div with the ID uh, circle. Okay, this is basically will be coming the circle. Okay, we are going to replace this cursor into this uh, div element here. So let's go up here and I'm going to say link CSS. Alright, so down here, I'm going to say script with source here slash main mian <laughs> should be main main not mian main should be uh, main as well all right so i think we're done with this uh it has html let's go back here this is what we have so now let's go into the css so in here i'm going to paste the color variable and i'm going to select everything and just uh, remove the margin and padding here and set the box, box sizing I think yeah box sizing to butter box and I'm gonna grab the HTML and let's say the font family into Arial Helvetica Sans Serif and I'm going to grab the adding the body and I'm gonna give a background to dark 111 and the color to white and also I'm going to grab all the section remember that we have three section all right I grab all this section here and I give a hick into let's say 5d view hick all right so now save this is what we have all right so I want to make this text to the center of the section so let's go back here I'm going to give a style here give the comment and I'm gonna say styling X let's say I'm gonna use flex so I can say display flex align item center and justify content center okay and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so font size into let's say to RAM I think save and let's see so I think it's like a uh, for RAM. Let's do for RAM here. Here we go. That's what we want. And let's go to the section one, which is a uh, class, All right? So we can say section one. And I'm gonna change the background into. I'm gonna use the 
green color so I can say color green and here we go and I'm going to copy this like so and this is going to be section 2 and section 3 All right so in section 2 I'm gonna use yellow and section 3 I'm gonna use uh, coral Alright, so now let's take a look in the browser. This is what we have. We have the circle pane, circle outline, and circle animation. Okay, everything looks so nice here. Let's go back into VS Code. I'm going to styling this ID circle here. Okay, so let's go into the CSS. So let's say styling the cursor circle here. And I'm gonna grab the circle id and in here i'm gonna say the position into fixed and let's give a width into 30 pixel and height 30 pixel and i'm gonna give a background to white okay so if i save now we should see the no cannot see but if i add for example top into let's say 25 ram you can see this uh, element here just the white background here let's make it a circle so I can do here let's say border radius to 50% and it's gonna be circle now and the next thing that what we need to do is we need to this element here following the cursor so that's why we need to use JavaScript here so the first thing is we need to grab the element first so i'm gonna say circle and so that goes to document dot get element by id i'm gonna grab the, the circle all right and let's just say cons i'm gonna say circle style so that it goes to circle dot style okay so it's for the make sure that we grab the right element here go to the browser and inspect and i'm gonna go to console and type in circle here all right so now we have this div with id circle okay that's mean uh this is the exactly element that we need to uh, get all right so let's go down here now we need to listen for the cursor here okay so let's go here and i'm gonna say document dot at event listener i'm gonna listen for uh mouse move all right so mouse move and i'm going to call it back this function here so here of course we need to grab the event in here and i'm going to for the first time is I'm gonna lock the E. Okay. So now save, and as you can see, if I move this cursor, we have a couple value in this uh, console here. All right. So here I'm going to console lock the client Y and client X. Okay. This is the vertical uh, axis, and this is the horizontal axis. And we, if I go here, as you can see, we have all the value if i go up here as you can see we have a zero just right here if i go all the way here we have all a uh, zero because the y is going to be zero and the x is going to be zero all right so let's go here and basically in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say circle style dot top i'm going to set that into uh, what we can do now is basically I'm going to add uh, this circle styling to the top. I'm going to change. Remember that in here we set the top to 25 frame, but in here I'm going to change the top to whatever the value in the console here, which is the e dot uh, client uh, y here. But remember that we need to specify the pixel, right? So we need to use back tick here we can do like so and e client y pixel right so let's copy and paste that down here and we can say circle style dot uh, left okay 
left and we can say client acts okay so now save and let's take a look this is what we have but as you can see the cursor is not really in the center of the of the circle all right so we need to fix that problem so we can back in here and i'm going to divide it by let's say circle which is the circle here i'm going to grab the offset hike and divide it by two okay because we need to uh just make sure that the scores all in the center so i'm gonna copy this and paste that right here this is going to be the width right like so and let's go back to the browser now as you can see this is in the center okay the cursor now is in the center of the circle okay so what we need to do now is i'm going to remove the cursor so let's go back here i'm going to go to html here let's say cursor into none okay if i save now the cursor is gone okay pretty cool okay so now i'm going to remove the top 25 rem here so now the question is how that we can change this cursor styling to specific section okay so let's go back here i'm gonna go to the section one and i'm gonna say hover okay if the section one is hover which is all this green section here and i'm going to grab the circle id all right so here i'm going to change the background into uh, yellow so let's say for that's that's yellow and i'm going to transform i'm going to scale and to 0 0.5 okay so now save and let's take a look um, it's not working let's go back so of course we need to give a space here like so now save and it's still not working what is problem is let's go back here so i think we should set the pointer event in circle here into none so we can say pointer event let's say none save and let's go back and it's work all right so now we have this green color here pretty cool I go back here let's copy and copy that and now this is gonna be section 2 and this is going to be section 3 okay so in section 2 here I'm going to change the background into none and instead of using transform I'm gonna use box shadow here let's say box shadow into 000 for pixel for the shadow and I'm gonna use uh, variable which is the I'm gonna use coral let's save and let's take a look so if I go to section 2 now as you can see we have the outline and the problem is we still see the white background here so let's fix the problem so I think we can use just background here so now if I go to section 2 as you can see we have really cool circle outline here and yeah pretty cool so if i go to section one we have the pin here outline here and if i go to section three we still see this pin all right so we need to styling that so let's go back to vs code here and in section three we need to change the color into green and i'm going to remove this, this transform i'm going to use animation and i'm going to create animation called pulse i'm going to set the animation to second and i'm going to set to infinite so let's create this pulse animation down here so let's say keyframes and the name of the animation and i'm going to say zero percent here and then down here let's say 50% and then 100% down here okay so in zero here I'm going to set the opacity into 0 0.2 and I'm going to transform 
to the scale i'm going to set that to one and let's just copy and paste that here and here the opacity here i'm going to set that to 0 0.9 and the scale i'm going to say two all right so now save and let's take a look we have pin outline and animation all right so pretty cool so now let's go to the section here i'm going to give a margin to 5 rem so if i save now this is what we have i'm going to close the console and as you can see we have pin white here and outline and the circle animation we can also add the transition of the circle here okay so let's go to circle and i'm going to say transition into let's say box shadow let's say is in and 150 millisecond i'm going to copy that and paste a couple time and this is going to be let's say background background and it's going to be transform all right so now save and let's take a look as you can see we have the transition okay and everything looks so nice all right so i think that's it guys for this video hope you learn something new and then yeah i'm gonna show you in the very next video and bye guys